Hey guys, it's Lauren and today I'm going to be doing a Lush video and today's video is going to be my big body spray haul from, well I picked up five, it's going to be my big body spray haul from the body spray release and I've also picked up some of the new items that were released on the 3rd um, and just this year in general, I picked up one of the perfumes and some more hair care. So it's like a body spray hair care haul. So, <laughs> I do want to say I did not pick up any of the Valentine's Day stuff, nor do I intend to because I'm not that interested in it. It's not that great of a haul, like release, shall we say. I don't know. Um, I do still have a Love Boat bath bomb from last year. So <laughs> I don't really need any of the bath bombs that they released. The Love Locket one looks really cool, but I'm not really that into the Amazeball hype that Lush have got going on. I don't really want to get on that bandwagon. I've seen a few demos of it. I'm not that impressed. Some people are a bit like, it's not that great. So, <laughs> I don't know. I don't really want to get the bath bomb. I did want to pick up the lip scrub, but then I was like, do I really like blueberry muffins? No, not really, no. I don't like blueberry muffins. Um, and some people have said it tastes um, similar to the Galaxy one. So do I need two blue lip scrubs? No. And another thing I kind of wanted to pick up was the Naked Attraction massage bar. Um, but it was £8 and that is one of the most expensive massage bars like they have. I think Tender as a Night is the most expensive. But I swear it was like £7 or 8 I don't know. They increase the price all the time. But some people have kind of like said that it's pretty small for how big it is. I was only really interested because it's like a jasmine scent, but it has not been confirmed that it is flying fox scented, so I'm not gonna get that either. What else did they release? Um, oh yeah, the Prince Charming shower gel. I've had that before, not a fan. <laughs> and um, somebody else on Instagram, I can't remember who, um, they bought it even though they had it before and they said it smells exactly the same as the previous release like ages ago and they don't like the scent, they didn't like it then, they didn't like it now and I just probably won't like it because I didn't like it then. I actually um, gave it away to somebody else because I just don't like the the smell of pomegranate in that form it was just, I just didn't like it <laughs> so um, what else came out the soaps came out as well I thought they were pretty pricey I'm not gonna lie um, I mean the peachy one just doesn't appeal to me mainly because of the drummers drumming shower jelly that really turned me off that scent family it's awful I hate the shower jelly I still have it but I've not used it or anything and I really want to pass that on to somebody else because it's terrible um, so I don't really want to pick up anything in the peachy scent um, I do like the 29 high street scent family but I have so many soaps already I don't need <laughs> more soap and I checked the ingredients of the aubergine soap and it didn't have that many ingredients like scent ingredients that are from the 29 High Street family like sandalwood, um, ylang ylang, all that sort of stuff it didn't have like all of them in right, because I have the jelly and it didn't have all the same ingredients in that it has in there so I don't know how true it is to the scent I don't really know, but I just didn't want to pick up anything from the Valentine's Day range. I might pick up stuff from the Easter range, but we will see what they bring out. Because um, I'm, 
I've seen spoilers of an Easter gift that has like a knot wrap and stuff in and I'm a sucker. I am a huge sucker for knot wrap gifts and there aren't any for Valentine's Day. So I'm just not buying anything for Valentine's Day. If I do, I will make myself go in store so I can smell things and so I know that I will actually like the scent. But I hate going into the store sometimes, so <laughs> I probably won't get anything. So apologies for the very long intro slash rant about Valentine's Day. Um, and let's just get into the body sprays. I was ecstatic but also a bit like terrified because I wanted so many of them. I have three earthy scents so I have the guardian of the forest, I picked up jungle, tramp and then I picked up flying fox because I love the scent and roller because yummy mummy my favorite my favorite one of my favorite scent families the only thing I could wish for is a butterball or butter bear body spray that would complete that would complete my life so the guardian of the forest I have opened them all and sprayed myself with them This one to me is very much like the shower gel. It smells a little bit, it's very much like you are walking in a forest and it's raining, that kind of scent. And I really, really like it. It's not my favorite. Moving on to Tramp. It smells exactly like the shower gel. It's very true to scent and oh, I just love the scent of it. I love earthy scents so much. <coughs> Next we have Jungle. <coughs> Apologies for my phone going off. And this is one of my favourites. Oh, it smells exactly like the conditioner. It smells like the lotion that came out ages ago. I really need to use that lotion up because I'm pretty sure it came out on like 2015. Oh, it smells really good. This one has a much more alcoholic kind of scent. So you need to let it set on the skin just a little bit. I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit because the main scent is alcohol and then it's the jungle scent. but it's really, really nice. I'm really glad I got these. <laughs> okay, next I'm gonna do roller. This is my favorite body spray right now. I can, oh, it's so good. It's really, oh, this is like the best thing ever. I really wanted to pick two up, but these body sprays are meant to be all year round. So I didn't, I'm trying to like not hoard, you know, it's body spray, it might go out of date, I don't really know, but as I said in my Boxing Day haul, um, I'm trying to buy less Lush and I'm also, I also kind of want to stop hoarding stuff. And in particular Lush stuff because that's the only the stuff that I really hoard um, this is my favorite I, I could buy like five but I don't need to because I have so many others I literally bought five in this haul but I made myself just buy one because I have so many other body sprays as well okay the last body spray flying fox let's bring it on this side Oh, it smells exactly like how the shower gel used to smell. I don't have the shower gel anymore. They should bring that out again. So this one has a more of an alcoholic scent as well. But it is the beautiful lust scent. 
but if you don't like the lust perfume this is less jasmine than that it's not as strong it's honestly it's like the lust scent but it's just not as strong it might be strong to some people but in comparison to the perfume this is not a strong jasmine scent i think it's a very like gentle jasmine okay the perfume that I bought is A Thousand Kisses Deep. I did want to get 100 milliliters because I actually smelt this in store when I went to get my Boxing Day items and I loved it. But then I was like, I'm all set on the perfume and body spray department. I don't need any more. So I only got the, is this 20 milliliters or? 30 millimeters and this smells exactly and I mean exactly like the beautiful shower gel and I have the beautiful shower gel it's one of my favorite oh, it smells so so good I just realized I sprayed the jungle on that arm I sprayed on my other arm oh, it's so oh my god this is such a good perfume and like I do kind of wish I bought the bigger bottle but I don't need the bigger bottle it's a really really nice perfume okay moving on to some of the new items um, I have two new items here and then the rest are um, hair care products so we have the Almond Blossom Shower Gel, which came out on the 3rd of January, but it's not part of the Valentine's Day range. And to me, this smells nearly identical to Snow Cake. So it is like a cherryish scent. It's, it's very similar to Snow Cake. So if you like Snow Cake, you'll like this, probably. It's just, it doesn't have a very like thick texture or anything, but it smells very similar to Snow Cake. Um, and the Almond Blossom and the Nana Shower Gel, I didn't pick up the Nana one, are SLS free. They are the first SLS free shower gels that Lush have ever done. And I also think they are palm oil free, but I'm not 100% certain on that. But they have started making their newer shower gels palm oil free. You know, they're developing, it's taken them a while, but they are trying to get rid of the palm oil in their products because they have to completely reformulate them and stuff like that. But I really like the scent of it. It's not my favorite, but and it's kind of a shame that it smells like like very similar to snow cake because i have two bottles of that um like i kind of wished it was more of its own scent and not like a shadow of snow cake okay the next new new item is the tingle body conditioner and this actually came out in 2018 for Christmas it might have come out before then as well but its original name was Chris Tingle which is like a Christmassy tradition kind of thing for Christianity and it's a beautiful blue color and let me tell you this is so nice in the summer when it's really hot um, it has menthol in there it will kind of tingle, it leaves your body feeling cold. You will feel cold after you get out in the shower, but it's nice in the summer. <laughs> so I'm glad that this is now an all year round product because this is like the best body conditioner, in my opinion, the best body conditioner. I wish it came out in the 600 gram size because I would buy the giant size, even if it was like 30 pounds, 
this one was actually £20, so it's quite expensive anyway. And I heard people saying that you can only buy it in this size, you can't buy it in the small pot size, like the 100 grams. If you want it, you have to buy the big size. And I think the naked version is £15. I do want to say that the price, 20 and 15 are way more expensive than what it was in December 2018. Way more expensive, like... Oh, any of the body conditioners £50? Like, naked ones? Or the body lotions? The scent is just a beautiful, like, mint, menthol kind of scent. It's the, it's the best body conditioner ever. Next thing I want to show you is the Honey Lip Scrub. I always avoided getting this because it had mint in. And I regret not getting it. because it's so good this might be my new favorite lip scrub because it's so it's sweet and then it's a little bit minty but it's like a a sweet mint like a candy cane kind of mint it's not overpowering they go beautifully together and oh my god this is my new favorite lip scrub so i decided to get that instead of the unicorn horn one and now I'm going to show you my hair care stuff that I've bought. And I bought the big bottle of Fairly Traded Honey because um, I know last time, um, I can't remember which haul it was, but the first time I ever bought it, I was like, I hate the scent. It's not a great um, shampoo. And my opinion has completely changed. If you don't think a shampoo's working for you, try it with a different conditioner and see if it's still the same results. Because I think I tried this with um, Veganese. Um, I think I tried it with Agars and Valkyrie and those sort of conditioners and it didn't really work. And then I tried it with Candy Rain and oh my god. <laughs> It is the best combination ever. But the reason I bought a giant bottle is because I think this is the the shampoo for like my hair combined with Candy Rain. It is like the best, the best combination. My hair is so soft and just like, wow. They go really good together. I tried Wasabi Shankui with Candy Rain didn't work for me but it worked for so many other people but I like the scent now I used to hate it now I really really love it so I intend to just fill up my small 100 gram bottle when I'm finished with it and then just refill it and keep the bottle so I don't have to take this giant one in um I do intend on buying a kilogram of candy rain maybe when I buy some of the bubble bars or if they come up with the community favourites etc um, and then buying another bottle of this because there have been rumours that this might be being discontinued and I was very distraught because I literally just found out it's a really good shampoo for my hair I spent so long hating it and now I love it so much so I'm excited for this. I will buy another giant bottle because it is really good. It's not that popular either, so it might be discontinued very soon. The other two um, hair care products I got were two of the new hair conditioners. I didn't buy the naked ones because I have too many naked hair conditioners at the moment. I have like six, I think already it's quite a lot isn't it um so i bought hair necessities and jamon's okra um the hair necessities one smells like potatoes but as you would know from previous hauls they came out in the lush labs ages ago and now you can get them on the website i don't know if you can get them in store yet but they might start discontinuing shampoos and conditioners because they they're bringing these to 
stores. I don't know when, but they're online and I imagine they'll be in stores soon because it doesn't say online exclusive on the website. It has like a sweet potato kind of scent and it does have sweet potato in there. Um, it has maple syrup in there. There's jasmine, olive oil, um, almond oil, and just a lot of interesting ingredients. So I really wanted to try it, but only in a small bottle. And then the Jamon's okra, I really wanted to try because I just wanted to try it. I don't know. But this one is really thick. Like, look at that. That is insanely thick. And it has a strange scent as well. I don't know how to describe the scent at all. Okay, I had to pause and go back because when I went like this, it just went everywhere. But I wanted to show you how like thick it is. It's like really, really thick. The scent is earthy. Um, I can't remember what okra it is. I think it's like a food thing. But other things in here are coconut cream, um, olive oil, lavender, rosemary, and castor oil as well. So I just really wanted to try it. I think it's going to be really moisturising. I do think Candy Rain is like the best conditioner Lush have done so far. So I did want to branch out and try this one. And then I got some samples from them. I specifically asked for big shampoo because I have the big conditioner and the naked one. Not the pressed one, but the original naked ones. If you didn't know, the pressed ones are all available online now. So they brought all of those online too. So I hope they don't start discontinuing loads of stuff like Retread and Veganese and American Cream conditioners. So I asked for the big shampoo because I really wanted to try it. It's one of the only shampoos I don't own as a sample or haven't tried. Like I think I haven't tried the no dry, dry shampoo. No, I think I've tried that as well. There is very few shampoos I haven't tried. Some of them are solids but I've tried nearly all of the liquids. And this is one of the ones that I haven't tried yet. So that is what it looks like. It looks really thick. And this scent is actually available as a body spray. It smells a bit weird to me, like very salty and orangey. I don't know. But I really wanted to try that. And you got a sample of Dirty Styling Cream. This styling cream is so cool and it's literally full. And it's a really nice scent. And then I got a I Love Juicy Shampoo sample. I always get this, I swear, for hair care samples. So I probably have like two or three samples of this, but I love, love, love the scent. And then I actually got a sample of the Trichomania Solid Shampoo. This is one of the ones I haven't tried either because I, I sniffed it in store and I didn't like it. Um, I didn't like the scent of it, you know. But that's a really decent kind of size, so I do want to try this out. And it doesn't have that much of a strong scent right now. I don't know if it's because I've been spraying all those body sprays, but the scent isn't that strong to me. And it feels quite hard actually, so I'm very intrigued to see how this is different to the other solid shampoos that they have. And see if it works on my hair. So that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching and getting through my long intro. Um, I think the most exciting release of the year is always Halloween for me but I'm also really excited about the Father's Day release soon. It's gonna have a lot of dirty scented products and that's a really nice scent for me. So that is it, thank you so much for watching and don't forget to subscribe if you want to see more content like this and I will see you in my next video.